O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you, there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I almost got caught. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah? Well, not like I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white spacesuit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your, uh, com was still open before. Don't think of it as, like, beating, beating Tom. It's more like opposition research. O'Brien. Ten soldiers marching in a row. Jesus. I'm good. Good, That's right. You boys go on about your business. Don't mind me. What's going on, guys? My name is Gamer Man. What the hell are we doing out here? Welcome back to another episode of What's Days going? Gone. Um, I kind of messed up. I started my recording and noticed that my mic was muted, so I figured I'd let the the uh, cutscene play out first, but then say something afterwards. But um, yeah, nothing's out there. You don't see anything. Hey, do me a favor. Go check that out. Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, <coughs> now I just gotta get the hell out of here. You're too, you're too close. <laughs> 
O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman, and no, I didn't catch your name. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Hmm. Moments of lucidity completed. Damn, I'm almost done. But, um, yeah, I'm not driving all that. Um, <laughs> Um, what I will do is get that Nero research site on the way. Wait, clear infestation. Really? Oh, Lord. That's ridiculous. Okay, um, I might actually have to drive that. But, um, last episode, so much stuff went on, dudes. Like, I could Ricky, barely keep up with it. send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if he didn't tell him where the seeds were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Nope. Try again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. See you, Ricky. But, um, so much stuff happened in the last episode. It wasn't even funny. Uh, if you guys didn't check it out, please make sure to. Track down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike, I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're gonna have a trial. You'll get a chance to tell his side of it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for But, um, there's a couple things I wanted to bring to your guys' attention, and, um, I'm gonna sound like a generic YouTuber here, but, um, yeah, Mike, I found him. I've been looking at my YouTube shorts recently, and the one with O'Brien is getting close to 4,000 views, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that, you know? I'm getting exposure, and I am appreciative of every moment. But, um, to my short viewers, please make sure to subscribe, because that's what I do almost every day, is post videos just like that. Except they're full length, and not just little snippets of the featured video. But, um, I noticed, like, 99%... Whoa! Sounds like Addy. How's the arm? You know, it's about 50% there. <laughs> Sorry, the light PT over there. Seriously, though, it's like I can still feel my right hand, you know? I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, yeah that's what Addy said. It fucking sucks. I feel pain in my four joints, you know? Like, after a long ride, your hand gets cupped up. You want to flex it. And... Anyway, I, I gotta get going. Alright, there's a Nero site, right? I went right past it, son of a bitch. But, um, I am appreciative of all the support that I've been getting recently on my YouTube shorts. Um, make sure to tune in to the full video, guys, because it's a lot more entertaining. Trust me. Same as always. Still out there chasing choppers? Yeah. What the Figure fuck? Out what the hell they're up to yet? Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. Uh, no idea. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, I'll pass that along. Later. Sure. Okay. So, I cannot do that. That's all right. That's all right. We're gonna figure this out real quick. Really, dudes? Hello. How are y'all doing? No. 
I need to figure out how to get up there, and trees are my weakness. How do I... Oh. Oh, I can make that. Yeah, dudes, I can make that. Um... Maybe. Come on, baby. Oh! I have no idea how I just did that, but... YOLO, right? What the fuck? A uh, downed helicopter and a Nero recorder. Yes, Nero injector. If y'all don't know what I'm gonna go for, then you guys clearly haven't been watching. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the stuff. C minus, up to a B plus. Also, I hear that shit. I don't think it can get over here. Uh, let's see. Let's go. I hear it. I don't think it can get over here, though, like I said. I'm on my own deserted island. That shit's scary. Ha! Anyway, near a recorder. Another micro recorder. Oh, hey, the hell you see the roster for next week? Yeah, what about it? Yeah, they got our team scheduled, scheduled for big shots at next video. Shit. Yeah. Really? I missed that. It's not on our route. I don't know, man. I checked with the CEO. That's what's on the books. Damn it. It's not part of my route. Yeah, no kidding. Me neither. You guys around all the time. I've got a specific set of stops I have to make. I've got time sensitive tests I'm doing, traps that have to be checked. Hey, tell it to the CEO. I don't make the schedule and I don't pick the rotations. Yeah, but I do. Thanks for telling me. Sure thing. No problem. Hmm. Sounds like to me they took a wrong route or something, and that's how they ended up the way they ended up. Sounds about right. Like, two months ago, I was averaging like 12 views per video. And I need to give a shout out to one of my buddies that I work with who brought me onto this whole um, YouTube shorts idea. Alrighty. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to give a shout out to my buddy Corey, man. Thank you so much for giving me an idea of doing YouTube shorts because that's given me more exposure than anything else. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is going to need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Aww. Boozer, I thought you were a badass. You're not supposed to be crying on me. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh. oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. Yay! 500 trust. 100%. And... What's it going to look like? I know it's going to be uh, one of them things, right? Oh, shit, that looks awesome. You know, I might have to go get that right now. Return to Iron Mike's camp. Oh, we got another uh, mission. But, uh... Yeah. Deke, a group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Yeah, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. 
drifters at Eden's Hill. But uh, yeah. Hey, how's life? I'm gonna put on. Let's see, accent frame, decals. Yes. So, wait. Whoa, that's cool. Custom decals. Uncharted, God of War. Con what the hell is this? Death Stranding. Copeland's encampment, chasing Leon. Hot Springs encampment. He's my brother. Yep, that's it. Yes, I love that. That's cool. I love that. Also, still level one. I'm getting there to level two. Sure. All right. But uh, yep, there we go. Oh, I look sick. All right. But uh, anyway, yep. Let's go do this mission, shall we? I'm loving this game right now, dudes. It's so good. I'm so glad that this series is doing well. Uh, oof. Oh, hi there, bud. See ya. St. John. This is Mark Copeland at Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope. What's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Oh, shit, what? Oh, an enemy okay, camp. Okay, Ricky, I'm near Eden Hill. Yeah. <laughs> Drifter's still here. I just cut off, uh, Copeland. Can you handle it? Well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Thinking out. There we go. Now, I can heal up because I'm still at 25 health, right? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um. Yeah, obviously. We're going in. Quiet. Come on, what's that all you got? Hey, what's going on? Let's do this. See ya. There we go. See ya. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Ah, it's a fucking bitch with a sniper. Oh, come on. You could do better than that. All right, gentlemen. I thought you'd just swing by, shoot up the place. Stole the words right out of my mouth. How many you got left? In there. Oh, shit, there you are. Shut up. Damn. Oh, is that it? Oh, oh shit, one more. I now. now I got oh. you. Really? Ah. Get off of me. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Okay, I think that's all of them. Good lord almighty. That... That almost went wrong. Yay! We did it. Bounty. Alright, I need to heal up. Okay. Fucking messing around too much, dude. Oh, St. John. Traps. This is Mark Copeland at Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope. What's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. What the hell? Okay, uh, you were saying? Just checking in. Uh. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but Mike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Copus is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked 
a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. <clears throat> but no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. <clears throat> I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Yeah. <sighs> okay. Time to hurry. Let Ricky know. Deacon? How'd it go? It's done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof. Thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are... Gonna be best friends before you know it. Bye, Deke. Deke, you tracked down those boys, shot up the gate, and took off. Hey, Mike, yeah. Uh, I found them, and they won't be coming back. Seems like it's getting worse. The amount of squatters and drifters we got coming through. No offense to present company. Taken. Uh, and yeah, Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tourists always coming up here from California. Well, I guess if I had the choice, yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. Yeah, I guess so. See you, Deke. Learn Mike out. Deacon, you there? Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary? With there we go. Chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Hey, someone's here. Uh, yeah, okay. It's Deke. Let him in. The only one he's got, huh? Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen. You need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I You're his friend. The only one he's got. Dang. I'm not really good at this whole friend thing. <laughs> All right. Surviving isn't living. Now he needs a reason to live. Damn. Drive to location. I've got work to do. And my bike fell over. Loser's fine. <sighs> He'll live anyway. I've got work to do, eh? Hold on. I'll get the gate. Once again, most of this episode's at night, which sucks, but yeah, I can't help it. I promise. Hey, uh, Deacon, can you stop by? Oh, let me guess. You got a job for me. Yeah, okay. St. John out. Another job, huh? Oh, shit. Fucking runners. I didn't even get a chance. Okay, pal, whatever you say. I didn't even get a chance. Just coming out of nowhere like that? So annoying. Sherman's camp. Oh, 
There you go. Got it. Open it up. He's okay. All right. So this is this farm that people keep talking about. <clears throat> And it's daytime. Oh, Boozer's here. Uh, hold on, I'll get the goat. Hey, buddy. Hey, Boozer. How's the uh, work going? Excuse me, I ain't got time to fucking chit chat. Okay, see you. Oh. Some kind of freak expert. I'm knocking these missions out, baby. I need to find some gas along the way, too. Ah, shit. There's a hey, gas station right over there. here. Deacon, yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh... I, I don't think that, that he's doing so well. I, I don't know. I guess I'm really worried about him. Yeah, me too. When he stopped by, he seemed, I don't know, angry, <gasps> depressed. Look, I'll keep an eye on him. I'll, I'm going to make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. You do that, Deacon. It'll mean a lot to him. Infirmary out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. Not again. If I could get a few people prepared, who wants to listen? And survive when it all finally collapsed down on our hands. Leave me alone. Nope. Ah, get out of me. Yeah, shut up, Copeland. I wish I can take that many bullets to my stomach. Oh, hi. Uh, hi, hello. Can I take any more damage? Can I? Oh, you guys are just waiting for me so you can shoot me on sight? There we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Hey. I like the Sherman's camp route so much. Can you guys take me back there so I can redrive it? Isn't that my slogan? Riding the open road? Here, take me back so I can do it again. Make this episode even longer than it needs to be. Like, what the fuck, dude? Seriously? That's twice. Uh, that's twice. T-W-I-C-E, twice. Oh, I, and I gotta refill my gas too. Ah, they must have siphoned my gas out of my Harley Davidson. Truth shall set you free. Yeah, I gotta listen to you again. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter. Yeah, store food, water, shit, blah. when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. Not as many listen as I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going hungry. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, who prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't have the heart to starve out you grasshoppers. Danced while the sun was shining without a worry in your head for what calamities the future would bring. Now, we're all paying the price. Are we gonna starve? I don't know. Fish runs within 
now. Game is getting scarce. Can't remember the last time I saw a buck or a doe. But I'll tell you this. I much. saw one just a minute ago. We're not turning on each other. No, sir. Hey, look. We'll never Someone's do here. that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Goddamn truth or bullshit. You know, last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves to the teeth, came in, and killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own. So, if you're gonna tell parables, Cope, just get them right. I'm gonna end this video here. Um. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe. Leave comments down in the section below. Check out my YouTube shorts. Turn on notifications. And, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.